Let's talk a little bit about the difference between vector and scalar measurements. A scalar measurement has only a magnitude, just tells you how much. Some examples of scalar measurements are speed, just says how fast you're going, distance, mass, time, and, and temperature is another one. You can't be 50 degrees up, you're just 50 degrees. Uh, time only moves in one direction. Time doesn't move backwards, so we don't actually have to give a direction with time. We know five seconds means five seconds has happened. Vector measurements have a magnitude and a direction. One example of this is velocity. Velocity is just speed with a direction added. So instead of 35 miles per hour, we're going to go 35 miles per hour north. Force is also a vector measurement. It matters what direction you're pushing in because if you're pushing the direction is one way and if you're pulling it's another way. Displacement is uh, how far you are from where you started. So you have to say not only the distance but the direction. So you are 10 meters north of where you started. It's really important in physics to be as specific as possible. So if you can give a direction and make it a vector measurement, do. Use velocity instead of speed when you can. Use displacement instead of distance when you can. And that's because we want to describe the motion as accurately as possible. One meter to the left looks different than one meter to the right. So if you just say one meter, that doesn't tell us enough about the motion.